In today's guide, I'm going to show you exactly how to create your own reports and dashboards using ServiceNow. We'll take it into like a simple indicator, turning it into a visualization, converting that into a reusable report, and then place it inside a dashboard that you can share with your team. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and join us as a member. It helps me keep creating full ServiceNow learning guides like this one. So to follow along, you would have to create a personal developer instance like what you're seeing now. And I have a full step-by-step -step guide that you will be able to see at the end of the screen. And eventually I'm also using the Zurich version and this is the latest and greatest. And if you are in a lower version, I recommend watching how to upgrade to Zurich, which is also found at the end of the screen. In ServiceNow, reports and dashboards are more than just charts and widgets. They are decision-making tools. A dashboard is your visible command center, while a report or a performance analytics is a visualization. And this report will be your building block into your dashboard. If you understand how visualizations work, then dashboards will come easy. So this learning guide will teach you the entire flow end to end. Before we build anything, let's understand what a visualization really is. A visualization is a structured representation of data in performance analytics. It can be a scorecard, an interactive chart, a breakdown, or a trend. And in this guide, we'll create a indicator scorecard, one of the most commonly used analytics element. And this visualization will show four things. The latest value, the change since the last period, and the target trend line. And this is perfect for operational reporting because it answers one simple question. Is the company improving or getting worse? Right, so let's move forward and build your first visualization by navigating to platform analytics. And under the library sections, you go to data visualizations. And this is where all your reports and visual assets are stored. And as we move to the top right, we can create a new data visualization. And one of the key concepts that I'd like you to learn is to drill down and find what is the behavior like of other data visualizations. So let us drill down. And as we navigate to the top right, you can basically duplicate this. So you will be able to see and configure the out-of-the-box templates created by ServiceNow. And in that aspect, I'll be creating another video. And in this lesson, we will be creating a new one. What you're seeing now are the different types of reports that you will be representing. Depending on the dot and the type of report, and basically you can choose what is the most appropriate. And in this lesson, we'll be looking at the indicator that or scorecard. Now, as you can see that as we have chosen the visualization type, ServiceNow is making our life easier by representing a wizard-like approach of configuration, which you can find on the right part of the room. And on the top left, you will see eventually it's still untitled. Now, as we navigate to the header and border, you will see that you can change the title of your KPIs. And on this time, we will name it as Open Incident Parameters and add a description, which is basically significant to your reports. And as a practice, I recommend to like save to ensure that your effort will not be lost as you build your report. And as we click save, you will notice that on the top left, the title of your report is now established. Now next, we define your data source and you can basically establish that using the data panel. And one of the key techniques that I'd like to share with you on your learning and building reports is trying to understand what each component basically does. And at this moment is like indicator group. So it's good to learn that as you Learn and grow is fully understanding how the framework basically works. And one of the 
tips and tricks that I'd like to share with you is going to the documentation. The service now documentation will be your source. And as you get more experience getting your hands dirty, then the reports will come second to you. And it's all about familiarity and taking notice of the different changes as we configure the data source as well. So right now we have chosen the incident open and as we basically change it like SLA of incidents, then you will see the open incident parameters will basically change. And since our goal is the integrator group of open incidents, so these are all out of the box features, which is already available inside service. And as you chose this type of report, you get to understand the behavior or the outcomes and objective that your client would like to achieve. And knowing what's out of the box is already giving you an edge because you are sitting into a platform. Having a car, you may have a Toyota or a Honda Civic. Knowing the features will allow you to maximize your tool and your productivity on its optimum level. So now let's make sure that our work is basically safe and let's click exit to clear out the notification. And one of the few features that you can have here, as you create a template, you can also duplicate your work. And now you could basically add it to bookmarks. I've created a full tutorial about dashboard and reports from beginner to expert that you will see at the end of the screen. The view is slightly different from the latest version, but you will see the buttons are the same and just different branding. And now let us add this to bookmarks and you will see a pop-up on the top left that will appear confirming that the changes has been saved. Now that we have this uh, report created, you will now have the ability to add this to a dashboard and it could be to a new dashboard or to existing one. So depending on the type of dashboard that you would be opening, the out of the box templates like this one doesn't usually allow you to edit because this is out of the box platform dashboards. So ServiceNow is basically making sure that you don't mess up the best practices that they have created. So one of the steps that I recommend is creating a copy by duplicating it. And right now I'll just put like incident management dashboard to allow it to create a unique ID for our example. Now that we have duplicated the template from the platform, now we could basically edit and configure this respectively. And now you can add a tab and play around and you could probably mess up, fix it, remove reports and so on, depending on your liking. You can play around or use this as your laboratory until you become an expert in creating dashboards. Since we have created a data visualization, which is found here, and now our goal is to like choose which one. So we could basically add anything which is already out of the box and all add the one which we have created. Mm -hmm. So now we have the flexibility to edit, configure, and fix the visualization or the branding, depending on your liking. So I'll make it simple for now and save this changes that we have done and exit the editing mode. And now you have created your own reports, a data visualization report specifically, and adding it to the dashboard. So the key takeaways that you've learned is you've learned how to reuse of the box reports and dashboards and create a new one that will basically give the confidence and expertise of creating dashboard reports using the latest version. I would say congratulations and everything we did today is foundational of our real world reporting and executive analytics. If this guide has helped you, make sure you subscribe and join us a member for full length ServiceNow Labs, deep dives and advanced architectural tutorials. Your support keeps this channel going. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next learning guide.